Welcome to the Detroit Yeah, yeah, experience. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get on with it. Hey, she didn't tell me about the flowchart. Yay. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to more of this. Let's see. We did up to the bridge last time. Now for the Stratford Tower again. Now what? What am I going to do with Simon? I'm going for super happy ending. So I would like Simon to not die. And I also don't want to kill anyone, so Simon's going to get shot. We're going to have to abandon him on the roof. And have Connor find the other guy. And then I want to go for attack because I haven't picked that option yet, but I'd rather just shoot him and save everyone. And then we'll use the recording to trick him into telling us the location of Jericho later. Definitely going to lock that door this time. Don't want to be a fuck up. Hmm. I guess I could bugger up and get him shot. I could try ruse and then dick around till I run out of time and then Simon gets shot. And we're gonna get attacked anyway because I'm not gonna shoot the poor bastard when he runs away. Definitely gonna go peaceful. Um, I think I'll go with, uh, end of slavery equal, hmm, that's the thing, you know, I want to pick all four of that first group. And, you know, most of the second group, and not really any of the first. I mean, these other ones seem way more important. So, let's see. End of slavery, equal rights. But I also want free speech. But, you know, I think equal right, you know, free speech should fall under equal rights, so... Equal rights, um, uh, let's go justice and voting. And let's go property this time. Not even try to save Simon? Well, that will get him killed, so obviously we're going to save Simon, because we need him to get to the roof. And we're not going to shoot Simon. I want everybody together at the end. So I know what I'm going to do there. And then Connor is going to find the guys in the kitchen... And he's already done all that, so... Yeah, uh... Oh yeah, we gotta remember to say hi to the cop from the uh, hostage situation. And that was so sad, I didn't even realize, I completely forgot he was there and didn't even realize he got killed until the flowchart told me so. Which really sucks. Okay, so we know what we're doing there. And then Midnight Train, we're gonna be real careful with that cop. 
As much as I'd like to uh, unlock more stuff... Explore the house. Son of a bitch! Yeah, okay. Check on Deviants, read the magazine, watch the news... Adam returns, talk to Adam, see the family photo... I did look out the window before and nothing freaking happened. Maybe it has to do with uh, the blue blood and the clothes before the cop shows up? Because there's an android uniform and then the blue blood in the closet that the cop doesn't see when the door is closed even though it's got glass because closing the door turns the light off just like a fridge which is weird but also kind of clever and you're not going to manage the policeman because we're going to hide everything before he even gets there and we're definitely going to tell Alice and Luther to go upstairs So we know what we're doing there. And those three sections are all pretty uh, lengthy and involved, so I think that'll be it for today. It's the problem with doing these full runs is that the early game stuff is just repetitive, same old, same old, and it's not until we get into the late game stuff that we really start unlocking more things we haven't done. don't get why that android in the parking space had his LED turn red when he was looking at us. Like, was that a member of Jericho in disguise? Anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage So even after stealing all that stuff the from the way. docks, or from the warehouses, we still got people dropping like did. flies. Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. And seriously, why wouldn't you let androids use the escalator, for Christ's sake? Is it really such a big deal? Uh, yes ma'am, there's been a fire in your building. If you can come down here. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I'll be right there. Yeah, go home and appreciate all the things you have that aren't burned to a cinder. Oh my God, lady, make up your freaking mind! Get the hell out of my way! God, don't you hate that when you're walking towards someone coming the opposite direction and neither of you can decide which goddamn side to avoid each other on. So I'm guessing it was Simon and Josh who were operating the dolly. The cradle. I gotta say, you gotta have fucking balls to work on a to work a job that requires you to spend hours at a time on one of these goddamn things. Just dangling off the side of a huge friggin' skyscraper. Ah. 
I would want the uh, railings along the back of that thing to be at least, at least four feet higher than what it is there. I think I'll deliberately bugger this bit up just to get that one extra thing. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey! Do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central! Fast! Central, we got armed intruders! Sent! Good job, North. Jesus. They know we're here now. You better be fast. Simon's been shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. this actually changes the footage that Connor sees. Josh and North. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! Don't shoot! No. There was no other choice. I fucking pressed the wrong message. button. We haven't got much time. Fuck me. <sighs> Alright, go with it. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words were shaped if you Oh my god, that was so fucking pointless. Marcus, your face. Why the fuck did I do that? Tell me when you're ready. Ready. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. Oh, I fucked we up so bad. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Simon! 
coming, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me! Simon! What are you doing? Hurry! For Christ's sake, Simon, you were not this heavy before. Press the right fucking button this time. I won't kill one. God. Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. Why did I do that? I've done this half a dozen times. You'd think I know that the X button was the one I had to push to not shoot the fucker. Or even if I did. Even if I just didn't press anything at all, the time would have run out and he wouldn't have shot the guy. But no, I had to fuck it up and press the goddamn circle button. For sake. I'll schedule programming to bring you these images. Oh, this is not going to be good. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty. A broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. Son of a bitch. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Oh. That was such a stupid fucking mistake. Well, that was one more fuck up than I wanted to happen in this. Son of a fucking bitch. I'm sorry. God damn it. But I got this. North attacks. The hell did that unlock? Yeah, all that did was unlock Simon being damaged. And I guess some more stuff for Connor to investigate. God damn it. All right, moving on. Try to reconcile it with lots and lots of good behavior from now on. Definitely not going for no mixed message this time. Hello? 
Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. How thoughtful of you. Yeah, Amanda's not gonna be too happy with me continuing to bugger shit up. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Ugh. <laughs> uh. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect that clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. You seem... lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Hmm... I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Let's go with the no use option. Why didn't you shoot? We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. That's probably the best answer. Hell of a lot better than they were too far away. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I understand. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Not entirely. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. I'm sorry! One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Why did the X and Circle button have to be so close together? Android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their get away from the roof. Roof? Yeah, they... Jumped with parachutes. 
We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviant, it's on that screen. Yeah, most of the uh, glass domes that they put around those cameras are like pitch black, so you can't even tell what direction the camera is pointed. I'm sorry, god damn it! Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI will take over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crap scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. Don't fuck up my crime scene, and then... Connor's gonna be getting his blue blood smeared fingerprints all, right, all over the goddamn around. computer. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Big Ben's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. You see something? I identified its model in serial number. Anything else I should know? Well, the guy already no. mentioned that there was a group of four androids. Nothing. So seeing the reflection of the three others in his eyeball won't tell you anything. Even though one of them was actually behind Marcus. Jesus Christ, Simon, you just bled all over the goddamn place, didn't you? Got his blood smeared all over the wall. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. So they just answered the door without bothering to use the cameras to see who the hell was coming in? Definitely defeats the purpose of having a security camera in the first place. What is the point we of that? the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Well, the fact that they got in without uh, anyone checking the goddamn camera is evidence enough.
I don't need to scan 500 different bullet holes. Where's the guy I saved from the beginning? Excuse me, Mr. CSI person. I'd like to examine the bullet holes without, uh... Seriously, there's a dude who's supposed to stop me. Isn't it you? Why did that take so long? It was on that terrace. That android that took the little girl hostage? I was shot? You saved me. I remember you. I could have died on that terrace. But you saved my life. And you could die right here if I fuck this up again. I never thought I'd say this. Yeah, I really think I should get some uh, public opinion points for that. So you guys just chilling out, huh? You, you want some coffee? How about some coffee? You want some coffee? I'll get you some coffee. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336. Four four five five eight one. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. What the hell was that little glitch I saw there? You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! Really don't see the point of this. Makes no difference whether I mash or not. Where the hell?
hell is my partner when I need him? And instead of L1, R1 like Marcus had to, I just press L1 the whole time. Totally worth it. I still can't get over how you sacrifice yourself to save Hank, even though a bunch of other people get shot, and then the next time you see him, he's saying that, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't come back. Like, what a fucking ingrate. Uh, what? Da, 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 da. Caught from the hostage situation, and don't let him get shot this time. Yay. Yeah, attacking him is the only one I haven't done yet, which I'm pretty sure leads to bad things. I wonder if Connor gets killed if he attacks the guy, because rushing him like that when he's pulling a fucking gun on you... I don't think is going to accomplish anything except getting yourself killed. So that's it for now. Oh, oh no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. We still got to do Rose's Place. Never mind. Continuing on. Got to make sure Luther doesn't get hurt and placate the cop as well. I don't want to risk fucking it up by leaving evidence behind for him to get suspicious of what about Luther. Luther is neutral. Okay, they make it sound like there was a vehicle pulling up to the driveway right before Luther showed up, and I thought they were coming out of it. Like they parked a car here and then they came out, but no, this this is her vehicle. Let's go straight into the house without even letting them know we're here. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk I to her. Wanna play canasta? She doesn't want to talk. Go away. I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. I guess that's just the sound of her fake skin reappearing. Think we can trust them? I don't have a choice. You okay? I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. 
They'll warm up in no time. Come in. What's your name? Alice. Never mind. Don't really mind her. Her name is actually I'm spent Cold. spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Christ, I'm surprised Alice didn't catch some air. I was swinging her around so fast. No, David Cage, it's a bad David Cage. sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow why do humans hate us we didn't do anything wrong humans are complicated yes sometimes it's difficult to understand them yes why can't we just talk to each other they'd see we're not bad Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Well, that was a bullshit promise, wasn't it? Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. You are a lying sack of shit, Luther. I'll stay with her a while. How do you even hang anything on a wall like that when it's above a staircase? You'd have a hell of a time setting up a stepladder to get up there. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. 
So we ran away. I understand. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Were, as in past tense, as in racism between humans doesn't exist anymore because of androids. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. Sure she would. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if someone dressed up as an android for Halloween, like with a fake LED and like the vest and everything. And then someone thought they were a real android, started beating the shit out of them and saying, No, no, I'm human, I'm human. And then they like fucking shoot him in the friggin' no, arm or something and then see a splash of red blood like, What the fuck? <laughs> Ugh. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. What the hell? You got a closet full of blue blood. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? I wasn't sleepy. Seriously, kid, get a longer undershirt. to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what happened if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! They're technically you both. Are alive. They? They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. 
But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. No shit. And that cop will, won't be even... be taking even less time. God damn it, can I get some freaking yellow squares to tell me what I'm supposed to do, for God's sake? Alice, 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 that's something new, Alice. Okay, we got something new, finally. This is gonna suck up all the time I have left, isn't it? You know what happened back there, don't you? You know that you don't want to tell me? I thought we didn't keep secrets from each other. <laughs> if I tell you, you won't love me anymore. Alice. Uh, not in this no, run. That's not true. Can I talk to Luther? Do I have time to do anything else? Oh my god. Oh, shit. Luther, 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 Luther. Okay, that's it. That's the two of them. I hope Rose gets back soon. Carol. There's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine then. Fuck you. Squeeze in this conversation. We don't want to cause any problems for you and your mother. We'll leave as soon as we can. Okay, I think I finally... The police! Got the that police. shit done. What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh my god. I knew it. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide upstairs. Come on, Alice. Sorry to disturb you. It's We've evening. We've reports of androids in the area. I not seen that late. There's deviant business going on. You can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. So, what question did you want to ask us? Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Really shouldn't have given him an excuse to recently? stick around any longer than he has to. No. No, nothing in particular. I, uh... Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. I seem to recall one time him coming into the house with only a 10% suspicion rate. What the fuck? 
And I'm pretty sure that was after I completely used up my time limit for opening the door. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. It's apparently too dark in there for him to see the blue blood. Don't you need a search warrant for this shit? He, he, he can look, but he can't touch. Thanks. I knew I should have taken that cyanide pill from this Lotko's place. Okay, there we go. Apparently that cup of coffee completely eliminated his suspicion level. God, I... I definitely want to see how he reacts to seeing my fucking face on that magazine. I mean, that right there should just launch the suspicion level to 100%. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right? Put Adam? your arm down. You look tense. The... The androids, they... He... He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? I... Wind and heard nothing. Those are it's so not the stupid. The it's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. As long as his suspicion level is that low, you can literally tell him any of those dumbass choices and he'll still leave. <sighs> He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose! And we're close with Luther. And Rose didn't have to come home to a dead body. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Yay! Got him! Okay. Gotta tell him to hide in the laundry room and then close the goddamn curtain properly because apparently him and Alice can't do that on their own. And not hide the evidence. So, yeah, I finally talked to Luther and Alice. I can't believe those are the two things that I missed and that I miss them every time. Uh, me coffee. He spots Luther in the closet. hidden okay so I'm guessing that is spotting the magazine and immediately recognizing my face which uh, I'm pretty sure leads to policemen not fooled and then killing Luther Luther died killing the policeman he shoves the guy over and that's supposed to kill him he barely looks like he got knocked out and then there's Finding, spotting the clo the android uniform, and spotting the blue blood. Oh no, I already got that. Uh, or, okay, spotting the blue blood, seeing the magazine with Kara's face on it, which would be a dead fucking giveaway. And then spotting the androids in the laundry room. 
Yeah, and before that counted as Policeman Discovers Alice and Luther Hidden. Because I told them to hide in the laundry room and they got caught in the laundry room or they got caught in the kitchen. Uh, hmm. So yeah, the blue blood, the clothes, and the androids in the laundry room. Which would lead to policemen not fooled and shooting Luther. And, yeah, I'll tell, next time I'll tell Luther to hide in the kitchen, close the curtain, but I'll leave the blue blood, the clothes, and the door to the laundry room open, and that'll lead to that. And then this will all finally be done. Unfortunately, that will result in Luther getting killed. Damn it. But, there, we got one chapter from everyone, got lots of shit done, kind of buggered things up with Marcus, and now I've got to hopefully uh, regain the trust of the people with lots and lots of passive behavior. Ugh. Really can't afford to screw that up anymore. And hopefully I don't bugger things up with Connor anymore either, because good God, I've made some mistakes. And I'm supposed to be going for the super happy three-way ending here. We can't afford to fuck this up. After all the after after the first four runs of this game, these guys deserve some happy endings. So hopefully I'll manage to get that done. And until then, I will see you later.